Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm coming to you live Wednesday morning, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, it is April 17, halfway, more than halfway through April. Uh, so I'm on Facebook, if I didn't mention that, um, even though I post it later to YouTube. So you can find me every Wednesday morning, 10.30 Eastern Time on my Facebook business page, uh, facebook.com slash dazzled by stamping, or you can find me on my website any other time at dazzled by stamping.com. Uh, so well, let me know when you get on here. Uh, let me know if you're watching later, even. Um, I'm going to refresh my screen so that I can see comments and see when people are popping on and when people have questions. Good morning, Carrie. Thank you for joining me. So I can see comments now. So what's it like on your side of the lake? Um, right now it's actually, it's a little bit hazy, but it's not raining. I thought it was going to be raining all day. Uh, so I'm glad to be here, um, but I'm enjoying that there's a little bit of, I don't know if you call it sunshine exactly, because I feel like the Sun is clouded over, but it's bright anyway. Uh, so today I am cool, dreary. Oh, cool. All right. Well, that's good. Hi, Dot. Is it just you or you got Carson with you too? I forgot to ask that last week. Shame on me. Uh, so I'm wondering, did you guys all get your reminder this morning? Because when I looked on Facebook on my phone, uh, I didn't even see my own reminder. <laughs> I had to look it up and make sure it actually posted. So um, anyway, just curious. So today I'm going to be doing, um, let's see, I don't think I'm using any new product. Um, I'm using oh, at least one thing that is retiring. Uh, I, I actually... I got this uh, idea from chatting with uh, or messaging with Rachel. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for joining me for um, uh, messaging with Rachel. She had um, had a fun idea. She's like, what do you think of this? And And show me what it looks like. And so then I was playing and as I told her I went down a rabbit hole. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, it was fun. So I, I just put him down for a nap. Now I can enjoy watching. It. Oh, good. Well, thanks for taking nap time with me. Okay. So I'm going to actually head over to the randomizer. Um, and I actually have three things for you, even though I only made two last week. Um, because Jamie Sales was my winner and she gave me, she said to give her card that she already had because she got the, um, she got the, uh, the honeycomb, what is the name? Honeycomb happiness or something like that. I forgot the name all of a sudden. Um, hooray for honeycomb. That's it. She got the kit when we were at Houston also. So anyway, so I have an extra honeycomb card to, um, give away. So I have that and my cute little chocolate bag and cute little kid card, I think is over there. Although I don't see it at the moment. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. Good morning, Jamie and Marlene. And it seems like I saw somebody else pop up while I was gabbing. Okay, so I'm at my randomizer, and I'm starting now. So I have three things to give away, so I'll do it three times. Oh, Marlene, yay! You're my first winner. I'm giving you the chocolate. <laughs> Marlene Van Zandt. You, uh, you have to come get it, which I will see you in a month at least-ish, something like that. Uh, congratulations, pick another winner, and start. Ha <laughs> ha, Gary Hacker, you won again. All right, well, I'm not going to give you the 
the uh, the honeycomb card. So you're going to get the um, the cute kids card. Um, all right, pick another winner and start. Terry Costin, is she on here yet? Terry Costin, you're my winner. So you get the cute honeycomb card. Okay, so done with the randomizer, heading back now. Okay, yes, congratulations, girls. Okay, so today um, I am using... Yes, you'll share. <laughs> oh, that's good. Good job, Marlene. <clears throat> Since you always expect everyone else to share, right? <laughs> or you offer for them to share. That's what you do. <laughs> mm. Okay. So today, I'm going to make two cards. Um, some of the stuff is retiring. Some of it is not. Uh, and I... I'm just going to show you the stamp sets that I'm using and uh, and then I'm going to put you down and start working. So, uh, so I'm going to be working with, oh, hi, you're watching me at Cracker Barrel. Well, I hope everyone there enjoys it. <laughs> uh, enjoy your breakfast, I assume. So I'm using Cutest Cows. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the thing. I'm also using Bird's Eye View. Both of these are not retiring. Uh, and Taco Fiesta I'm using. Um, now this one, this is retiring and is actually already gone. So hopefully you already have this stamp set for Cinco de Mayo or whatever. Hi, Kathy. Um... Anyway, these are the car the stamp sets that I'm going to be using. So, I'm going to just I'm going to just surprise you by what uh I have in mind or what what my vision was for this. Excuse me. Um uh I'm going to do some stamping and oh just a sec. I got to sneeze. Mm. Thanks for sharing that. Mm. It, it's not coming out. Hopefully I don't sneeze in the middle of everything. Okay, so I need to do my magic. <laughs> I say that because I have to push magic wand if you haven't watched me do that before. Okay, I need to unbackward you. <coughs> Excuse me. Upside down you. And here we go. Okay. So... I did some quick stamping already, but I'm not going to start with that project. I'm going to start with one that I'm doing. I, I need to stamp this and set it aside. So here is my memento. So I'm using memento for all this because I'm using photopolymer. So first I'm going to stamp my white piece. He sort of has to be off. This piece. Oh, by the way, I used stylish. I should show it to you. Stylish shapes. You've probably seen me use this millions of times, but I'll show you anyway. Stylish shapes is not retiring. Good morning, Terry. You are one of my winners. I couldn't remember if you were on already or not. <laughs> uh, this is not retiring, and I'm thankful because I use this all the time. I love it. There's stitching inside and out, so like if you were to... Uh, well, like when I ran this through, what was left behind was also stitched. So, oh, like this. See, I don't know if you can see this, but they're stitching behind with this. This is my, hi, Dina. This is, this is probably my favorite dies that we have right now. I use it all the time. Okay, so I stamped my bird from, uh, I should show you it to you again from Bird's Eye View. And then I need to stamp another one. I forgot to test my first bird out. Usually I always test it out before I, before I stamp it on 
my project because it doesn't always work. So here are my birds. Uh, which set do you love, Jamie? The bird's eye view? I love bird's eye view actually too. All right, and then one more stamp I need here for this one. For now at least. <laughs> so here's my <laughs> here are my birds. The dies. Oh yeah. I love those dies. Agreed, Jamie. Okay, um, so here are my birds. And then I'm going to stamp. So this is Granny Apple Green. And I gotta find my stamp that I need for this one. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Okay, Granny Apple Green. And we have. I'll stamp them and then I'll tell you in case you can't tell what it is. Can you tell what it is? What they are? There you go. Can you tell what those are? Um, okay. They're avocados. <laughs> I love them. Okay, so I wanted to stamp these so they could set aside <clears throat> and dry a little bit before I color them. <clears throat> All right, now I'm switching. Yeah, you love avocados? Um, I like them too, actually. Okay, now I'm switching gears, and I'm doing the cutest cows. And I already stamped this ahead of time so that uh, I could color and not have a problem. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, I think I decided that I want to color the whole cow. So we're going to do light. Maybe I should. Well, I'm just going to color the, color the whole cow. I'm going to do it in light pecan pie. This, is, well, this was my favorite way to color the cows was to make them the brown ones. I forgot what kind they are that are the brown Somebody tell me if I, I had a tad of mayo mashed to mashed avocados and it's so good. Bring us, oh, what do you know? Yummy. <laughs> Carrie must not like avocado. Yummy for some people, but not you. All right. Um, sorry, I get quiet when I start coloring. Uh, we, oh, I had a class. It must have been the cows class where all of us were coloring and it got really quiet. I'm like, I'm not the only one. <laughs> all right. So does anybody remember if Lynn, if Lynn Hodges is on here, which I don't think she watches until later, but if she was on here, she would know what one, because she's the one that told me, oh, I want to do the face and ears first. I forgot. Yay, a chocolate cow. Yes, this was my favorite one. Actually, it's a pecan pie cow. <laughs> okay, this is, oh, it's dark. Dark petal pink. I thought it was light. No worries. Okay, going back to light pecan pie. <clears throat> so I'm not doing the spots and I'm not doing the eyes because there's a little bit of white in the eyes. You were coloring the little boys and girls with that. Oh, gotcha. That's right. We were. Uh, sorry. Have to really concentrate to get in there. A little nutty. <laughs> right. I think I just covered over the white of the cow's eye. Oh, well. Wow. All right, I'm going to get this whole part. He's not going to. It's all going to be light. And then we'll put, oh, I always forget the tail. All right, and then, nutty but sweet, exactly. Then I want to darken the little tuft up here and darken this tail. I'm going to add some shading a little bit. <clears throat> All right, so I'll 
color this in a little. All right, get the hooves. And the flower quick. This is uh, D Daffodil Delight. <laughs> I want to say Daisy. I wanted to say it wasn't the right thing. And this is Pool Party. Sometimes, or usually when I have tiny little spots like this, I end up using the regular markers. These are Stampin' Right markers, water-based, as opposed to Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol-based. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna add, oh, I, I guess I don't wanna add that. Just a second. Oh, I'm not gonna add that stem. Because I want to add this, I'm gonna add, about said snow, I don't know why I about said snow, this grass, and this is, a soft sea foam, because of the card base that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna add a little bit of depth to it. Okay, so here's my cow. Hi, Janet. It was good to see you the other day. Oh, which reminds me, I have new catalogs. <clears throat> um, I hadn't posted about it yet because I was getting it ready and um, making sure that I had informed my people that I mailed it to directly. Um, if you are, uh, if you are interested in a catalog, and um, Je Jennifer, haven't you been on? Oh, <laughs> you're saying hi to Janet. I thought you were saying hi to me again. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought you were here already. <laughs> um, I have new catalogs available to pick up. Um, if you, oh good, I sent some to some people so that they didn't have to come here and I wanted to make sure that people got them in their hands. Um, if you're a customer of mine and you've placed an order in the last year, it's free to you. If you, uh, if you've not, oh, <laughs> so this is before I, before I continue, this is, uh, what my vision was um, after chatting with uh, Rachel yesterday. <laughs> I love the glasses from <clears throat> Bird's Eye View. They're my favorite. Yesterday she was like, well, what do you think about glasses on other critters? That would be cute. Um... And she's like, will you do that for me? And so anyway, yes, this is one that I tried it on. Um, I, I, uh, oh good, I'm glad you got yours. Um, the, <laughs> I love the glasses too. Okay, so the glasses are from the stamp set, Bird's Eye View. I am not a bird person, but as soon as I saw these glasses last year, I had to get it. So here's my, <laughs> this was my vision. So yesterday I stamped a bunch of animals and stamped glasses on them. Um, and it's going out to Rachel today. Um, she still definitely needs prayer. There's, it's, she's struggling. Um, so anyway, sometimes I do black glasses. I want to do colored ones. Okay, so here's this. So now I'm going to put my card together. So... I have, this is um, soft sea foam. That's why I went with the grass, that color. This is pool party. 
And it's from the Lighter Than Air um, uh, designer paper. Oh, I forgot. I was going to do it this way. Yeah. Um, and then this is Old Olive. So I'm going to put this. Yeah, I, I like them when they're colored, too. It gives them a little more sass. Where did my... Oh, there it is. Um... So I'm not going to tell you, in case she ends up watching this, I'm not going to tell you what animals I put them on. But they it doesn't work on all of them because, um, like, the nose might be in the wrong place or it's just the wrong size or whatever. Um, I know I love the glasses. Thanks, Jennifer. Okay, so I put this on um, Old Olive. And I'm going to put this designer paper down. So these are just flowers. It's the, well, there's lots, front and back of lots of designer paper. I think that the Lighter Than Air, this is the one, so the Lighter Than Air is the one that is all the pastel colors and it has the, um, it was part of the, 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 I always wanna say water balloon, hot air balloon stamp set. Um, I'll, I used a lot of the colors, but I have, this is, I think, two packs combined. <laughs> um, so this is still available. You can get this one for sure. All right, so I'm going to put this on here. Oh, I want dimensionals. Yay, I found them even. All right, one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, so this is going to go right here. And then I used um, the stylish shapes again with this circle here. And I got to find my greeting. It's on the back. I have multiple. I'm running out of blocks at the moment because I have a couple classes that I'm waiting to do with someone who is my a regular to my classes and they're still all mounted. I don't want to unmount them. <laughs> so I'm just, I keep having to, well, I've been having to unmount a couple of pieces. Oh, I forgot to figure out um, what embellishments I wanted. All right, I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so I didn't actually make this card. I I designed it and sort of put it together, but I didn't, didn't make it. Okay, so we're going to put this there. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Just a second. Okay, so these are ombre matte decorative dots and i think they're sticking around too okay so we have i don't even know where my take your pick tool is there it is these are really roundy the big ones are so i'm going to um use my spatula okay so i'm gonna go one I'm going to use the ombre effect. Two, three. There we go. There's my card. Dots. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these look like dots too because they're uh, the from far away, <laughs> but they're flowers. All right. So on with my next card. So this, my, my glasses were, was the vision for this one. Okay, putting this away. Oh, I gotta see if I have. I don't think I have. Um, thank you. I'm glad that you like it. So now I'm gonna color this. Um, I don't think I figured out my my gems for this either. Oh, maybe I didn't do it because there's ribbon. All right, what colors do I need? Okay, I'm gonna start with 
This is light crumb cake. And I'm just going to make some ground that they're standing on. That's all I'm going to do with this for the moment. Uh, and then I want to thank you so much. Um, so when I, um, when I sent stuff to Rachel, I don't send her full cards. She loves coloring. It's, um, and it's something that she can do to keep her mind off. Uh, of the pain, whatever all is going on. She has a lot of pain right now. She has a lot of um, trying to get out infection because she's not on antibiotics right now. Um, so it's a struggle. Okay, so I got that one done. I feel like maybe I want to use a darker one on this. I wonder if I can do, I wonder how this will look with, I didn't try this with pecan pie, but I'm gonna try them together and see what they, see how they go. Ooh, that's much darker than the light pecan pie. Huh. All right, we're gonna try it a different way then. We're gonna put the dark crumb cake here and do light pecan pie with this and see how that goes. I'm not sure they go together. But I guess I just wanted a different color. So we're gonna stick with dark pecan pie instead of trying to combine crumb cake and pecan pie. We have another, now we have a chocolate bird instead of just a chocolate cow. And I colored over the whites of eyes again. I'm trying to be too quick. See, th what I'm doing right now with lots of coloring, this is why I end up not so much liking coloring if I'm just trying to go too fast. That That's when my problems start. All right, let's add some more. The crumb cake did make it look kind of, kind of cool down here. Gave it some more color. I'm gonna try it again. Uh, I decided I'm gonna use dark crumb cake this this time. Just adds a different tone of brown. Add some interest. Okay. So my birds are done. I like how it's blended by the two. Yeah, me too, thanks. Um, now I need to do the sombrero. I feel like crumb cake is too greenish gray compared to pecan pie. Yes, it was. But then once it was all blended together, it seemed fine. So I'm using granny apple green uh, on the sombrero. And I'm gonna use real red on it. I need to make their beaks orange. <laughs> and then I want that to dry a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing the, the avocado, but then I'm gonna pull one that I already have done. So I'm using granny apple green. So the light granny apple green, I can't find it, light. I'm going around like the inside of the avocado. And then the outside I'm doing dark. You wouldn't really think that 
that you would see much of a difference, but you do. So I'm doing the dark on the outside. And then I'm using dark pecan pie for the pit. There you go. Cute, right? All right. So by the power of television, we have this one that's all ready. Okay. So now that this has dried a little bit, this is my vision for this card. So obviously, the um, the Mexican theme with the birds, that's part of my vision. But truly, this is my, this was my vision. I made a character like this for um, for Rachel months ago. I don't know, it just came to me and I'm gonna try it again. Hopefully it's dried enough so it's not a problem. Voila. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> so one's got a sombrero and one's got a mustache. I <laughs> uh, love it. Okay, so now I'm going to put this card together. Oh, also, where did it go? Did I drop it? Oh, here it is. Okay. So I have another... <laughs> I have another, this is from um, Stylish Shapes again. This is Crumb Cake. <clears throat> and <clears throat> we have this saying, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna pull the card together. So I chose red um, because um, so it would go with the sombrero. <clears throat> so I'm going to put down my avocados. This is going to go here. I sort of forgot how I was doing this. So this is going here, and this is going on with dimensionals. <laughs> exactly, cute little muchachos. I love it. Well, isn't muchacho young, or am I wrong? Because um, the one with the mustache definitely isn't isn't a young and. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this here. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to add a little, a little fun. All right. So I have, where did it go? There it is. So this is actually, I think, I think of it like confetti, but I think it's more like um, uh, candy from a pinata. Um, but I'm putting this little... Um, I meant to do this first and I forgot. That's what happens when I when I sort of design and then wing it when I get on my line. All right, there we go. Or maybe, what do you guys think? Should I even put some, some here? <clears throat> I'll f oh, I forgot one other thing. I told you I had ribbon. All right, we're gonna have to figure out how to get this on here. I'm gonna try to lift this. There we go. And so I don't have to try to get my, so I don't have to try to get my snail in, or seal in there. I'm gonna put, put, um, liquid glue on here because we need something to help keep this down 
So this is the ribbon that was from the coffee suite. That's the online exclusive. So I just wanted a little bit on there. Okay, now this is gonna go on with dimensionals up at the top. So, hi Mario. <clears throat> I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, Jamie says we need to put some confetti candy type stuff on, on here. So this is gonna go here. Hmm. I'm not sure I can get it on here. Well, we're going to try it. If I have to pull it off and fix it, I will do that. Okay. So I'm going to put one on here. Oh, that one didn't get it. On there. Okay, here we go. Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. <laughs> All right. So I am done stamping. So I'm going to... Oh, I ended up with two. I thought I was going to do an... Uh, a... <laughs> Thank you. I thought I was going to do a landscape and a, a portrait card. And then I ended up doing both both portrait. I usually try to do a different... Okay, I want to put more dimensionals under here because I lifted it up goofy. Thank you. When I lifted it to put my ribbon under, I made it not want to stick. There we go. Okay, so here's my card. So I'm going to put you guys up and I'll show you the cards again. So up on upside down, you put you backwards again. And here we go. Okay. <clears throat> so here is my holy guacamole card with my, <laughs> my bird with the mustache. I found such a great way to start the day. <laughs> I'm glad that you like it. It is a fun way to start the day. Okay. And then here's my what's moo with you with my glasses on my cow. So I might have to duplicate these and send the actual cards to Rachel instead of sending her. Oh, thanks. I'm glad that you liked the red. Uh, instead of just uh, sending her without the coloring. <laughs> All right. So I mentioned that I have catalogs. Uh, if you are um, a customer of mine, you can come and pick it up. If you are not a customer of mine yet, um, you can come and pick one up for $5 and I'll give you a coupon for $5 off your first order. Uh, thank you so much, Marlene. Um, <clears throat> don't forget to register for classes. Oh, did you see? I opened my registration last week for my next Dazzling Card Club. Uh, it will be using the Perennial Lavender, well, Painted Lavender is the name of the stamp set, and we're going to be using that. The designer paper did not retire, so I went with something because um, registration is on is in one catalog, and actually being able to order enough stuff is in another catalog, and so um, I went with something that sort of carries over. So anyway... Um, Make sure that you register by next Friday, the 26th, for it. Um, we'll be making four four designs, but two of each design. Uh, and they're really pretty. I love that, sweet. Thanks, me too. Um, and I'm also using, so I don't know if you realize this, but for the perennial postage bundle, there's the cute postage dies, and then there's, I love the words of the stamp set, but the words are retiring. But we're still going to be using the words on, uh, it's May 7 and 10 is when my classes are. <clears throat> so we're still going to be using the words, even though the words will have retired by then. Um, 
And so anyway, so that is sign up by the 26th. Um, also, I have an all occasions card class, which is to each of three designs. Um, that one is only, uh, well, it's only here. I don't have an online version for that. Uh, it is for, the date is next Tuesday or Thursday, Tuesday night or Thursday morning, and you have to register by Monday. Um, so it's a fun class. Glad I got that one too. Which, which one do you mean? Oh, the perennial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. I, I mean, I loved it while, while we still could use it. That's why I want to use it in the class because it goes well with it and whatever. Okay. What else? Oh, so quick heads up. So I will be live next week, uh, Wednesday, which will be 20, six, five, four, 24th. Um, but I will be not, I will not be live the following Wednesday because I will be on my incentive trip that you helped me earn. Ha, ah, thanks. Thanks so much. I'm so excited. Um, so I'm not going live from Mexico. Sorry. Um, yes, post, perennial postage, right. Um, <clears throat> so I will not be live. It will be May 2. So actually the new catalog will start by the time, um, that week that I'm gone, which sort of is a crazy thing, but, um, so you can order from the new catalog starting that week, but I will not be live on that Wednesday. Um, I'm also, I'm required to say, I started to think it and then I didn't, uh, I'm required to say that less than 1% of all demonstrators earn the incentive trip. And that's not, I mean, I was going to say, that's not bragging. I'm not intending to brag. It sounds like a brag. What do you do at the incentive? We're going to relax. <laughs> Actually, we're going to go to, um, they, oh my goodness. First of all, it's, um, this one is at an all-inclusive resort. And so we're going to be relaxing and it includes lots of different parks. We have one that we're going to, um, that has, uh, we're doing rafting and there's a, cenote which is a it's i don't know it's water i i don't remember the definition of cenote um there's also a great big water slide but i'm not gonna be doing that but um it was the one that um liz liked the most and we with things that we have going on around it it was kind of one of the two full days that we needed and we needed a full day for it <clears throat> Um, so, but there's lots of pools, lots, it, it looks gorgeous. It looks amazing. I'm really excited. Um, and we found out at some point that, um, yeah, I think Todd is interested in the water slide if Liz is, um, other than that, I, he's like, he could take it or leave it. But Tyler and I are both like, I'm not climbing that slide. <laughs> Um, cause it's a great big one. Um, but I'm happy to watch and hang out in the water and whatever. Um, so we found out that each room has a hammock, like on the balcony and some of the rooms. Yes, yeah, so we're taking the kids with us. So we had planned this, um, we had planned to go to an all inclusive with them in January. Um, it was, um, I had gotten, I don't want to say a small amount because it's not a small amount, but it's, it wasn't a huge, you're right, I didn't sneeze. <laughs> um, it wasn't a huge amount, but got money uh, from my mom when my mom passed away. And I told Todd when we got it, that first of all, it's amazing that we got money from my from an inheritance. Um, the only reason it happened is because she bought her condo like at the beginning of the, I don't know, the, the explosion of, of what do you call it? The, the housing market. She bought it at the beginning and a year later it had 
not doubled in price, but like another half of it. Anyway, that's the only way that <laughs> my mom loved, <clears throat> loved to spend money. Um, so yeah, so I said to Todd that I wanted to um, take the kids um, on a trip and she would have liked that. And so we were going to do it in January and then we started, well, Todd started second guessing the whole thing. And then we're like, well, what if we combined it? Because the trip that Stampin' Up! would plan for us is going to be a lot more amazing than the trip that we would plan for us. And, uh, I mean, Stampin' Up! knows how to spoil you. And um, so we had to pay extra for them to come. Todd is included with my trip, um, but we had to pay extra for them to come. And then... Um, <laughs> Tyler always has funny stories. <laughs> um, uh, and, oh, and, and we liked the idea of the fact that Oh, nice. That's awesome. That's good, Terry. I'm glad. Um, we decided that a group of, I'll say around a thousand, I don't know what the group is, um, going there for something would have a lot more pull. If, if any sort of problems happened at the resort or with, with the service or with whatever, we have the backing of we're with the Stampin' Up! group rather than just four people going. So um, <clears throat> anyway, so we're going to that. So um, we have a welcome party on Monday night. I'm not sure that we'll go to that because um, it's just a lot of people and I don't know, it's just different. Um, and I have a lot of, a lot of my friends are not going Um for different different reasons. Anyway, um, Tuesday morning we have a general session, but then we have the rest of the day until Friday. Pretty much we have free time until Friday, and then Friday night is a oh what is it called? Well, it's a it's a goodbye party, but it's um, going to take in a show that's really popular either in Mexico or at that resort or whatever. So. Anyway, so that will be the first week of May. We all would want to. Would want to come on the trip, you mean? <laughs> yes, we all would want to go. So um, <clears throat> I just... Um, uh, I'm excited for it. I, it it's going to be really cool. Oh, so I didn't finish telling you. So some of the... Well, all of the rooms have a, a hammock on the balcony... Some of them are right, like you could go in the water right from your room, right from the balcony. That would be really cool. Um, but there's all sorts of different ones. So it's the place is huge, um, and it has like 10 different parks or something like that. Yes, it does sound like a wonderful trip. I am so excited. Um 10 different parks are included that we can go to. You just have to schedule it out and whatever. So, so that's in two, well, two weeks, less than two weeks now um, is when we'll be there. And then <clears throat> the following week is when we come back and I have uh, my dazzling card club, the lavender one, and I have a club and something else. I don't know. And a helper coming on Monday. <laughs> so anyway, so just giving you a heads up about that. So catalogs will go live on May 1. And uh, oh, and this was the other thing that I was going to tell you. Okay. Um, May 6 is when we have in mind opening registration for the our next retreat. The next retreat is June 29 the last Saturday in June, and it will go live on that Monday morning, the 6th. So anyway, just a bunch of heads up things. So I think that's it. I think that's all I have to share with you. Right now, you have the chance to uh, still order retiring things. Yes, we have to take sunscreen that is reef safe. Um, and thanks, 
We definitely will. <laughs> uh, you still could get retiring items that are available. A lot of stuff. Well, I mean, there's a list anyway of things that are already gone. If you can find it in the online store, then it's available. Um, otherwise, it will not be there. So um, there's discounts on things. And anyway, so you still can do that now. Okay, that's all that I have in mind for you today. Thank you for joining me and my... <laughs> the sneeze didn't come out, but he on did. <clears throat> Um, thank you so much. <coughs> thank you for joining me in my goofiness with my, <laughs> with my mustache and glasses. Have a great week and I will see you next Wednesday, 1030 a.m. Eastern Time here on my Facebook business page. Thank you so much. I'm covered. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.